everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Bambi's here with another Let's Read and Find Out Science. Stage 1. What's Alive? By Karen Winston Shuffle. Illustrated by Nathan Bearsley Wiscult. Let's get started with this science. Let's skip these parts. It's foolish. Are you like a cat? You don't look like a cat. A cat is is furry. It has a long tail and four legs. You have two legs and no fur. But you can run and jump like a cat and be better at anything else. Are you like a flower or a tree? You don't look like a flower or a tree. A tree is tall. It's green. Leaves grow high up in the air. And its roots grow deep underground. A flower can have petals of pink or yellow or red. You can, you can know petals. And you won't grow as tall as a tree. But like a flower and a tree, you are growing and living in love. Are you like a bird? You don't look like a bird. A bird flies on feathered wings. You have no feathers and cannot fly. But a bird, a flower, a car, a tree, and you are all alike. In one important way, you are all alike. Many things are not alive. A stone is not alive. Your tricycle, a book, the swing set, a doll, and many more. None of these are, none of these is alive. Do you know how to tell if something is living or not? All living things are alike in certain ways. All living things need water and food and air. Living things use water and food and air to give them energy. They need this energy to grow and move. When a cat is born, it is small. It's called a kitten. A kitten gets food from its mother. As the kitten grows bigger, it begins to lap up water and nibble on fruit from a bowl. It breathes ale, air in and out through the, its nose. The kitten is alive and growing. Kittens and cats need food, water, and air to give them energy so they could run and jump and play. A baby bird hatches from an egg. It is called a chick. The chick's mother and father feed it. It breathes air in and out through small holes, holes in its beak. The chick is alive and growing. Chicks and birds use the energy from food and water and air to fly and hop along the ground. Birds and cats are animals. You are an animal, too. An animal are living things. Like you and me. Trees and flowers are also living things, but they, they are not animals. Trees and flowers are living things called plants. Plants cannot run or jump or fly. They do not eat or drink or breathe the way you do or the way that a cat does. But they do need water, air, and food, and they can move and grow. 
Trees and flowers begin as seeds. When they are still small, trees and flowers are called seedlings. The seedlings grow roots. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil. The seedlings grow leaves. Leaves help plants to breathe in a special way. If you could look at the, the underside of a leaf with a magnifying glass, you will see tiny holes. Planets take in air through plants take in air through these tiny holes. Green leaves also help plants to catch sunlight. Plants use the power of sunlight to make food out of air, water, and nutrients from the soil. Plants use the food they make to give them energy. That energy helps them move. They do not run or jump, but they do. But they grow and grow. They bend their stems and leaves to. To follow the sun. All animals and all plants are living things. Anything that never needs food or water or air is not a living thing. Now you can go exploring. Walk through the house slowly, then through your backyard or the park. Look carefully at everything you see. Draw pictures of each. Different thing. It's an activity. I'm not gonna do it because I'm old now. I'm not childish anymore. <laughs> When you are finished exploring, look at your pictures and see if you can tell which are living things and which are non-living. For each picture, ask yourself these questions: Does this thing need food? Does it need water? Does it need air? Can it grow or move all by itself? If the answer to these questions is yes, then that is a living thing, like you and me. Not this book, okay? This book is not a living thing. But what if you find a plant that is brown and dry? It will not grow anymore. It cannot take in water or air. It cannot move except to blow in the wind. Is that a living thing? What if you find a little bird that has fallen from a tree? It lies very still on the ground. The little bird will never will never move again. It will not eat or grow again. It is is the little bird a living thing? The dry plant and the little bird are living things that have died. All living things eventually die, like you and me, and this bird, and this tree. All living things eventually die. That is an important part of being a living thing. A stone or other non-living thing can never eat or grow. It can never run and jump and play. A non-living thing cannot die because it has never been alive. When you look through your pictures, try sorting them into piles of living things and non-living things. Then separate the pictures of living things into piles, or, or for plants and animals. And can you hang the picture on your wall or built-in road? Whatever you find, anything new, you can ask yourself: Does it need food? Does it need water? Does it need air? Can it grow or move all by itself? Then you can add its picture to your collection. You will always be able to tell what's alive or and what's not. Bye, guys! I hope you like this video. Click like and subscribe.